guys, welcome back to Estella Wilson Creation. I am back with a large Dollar Tree haul. So I found a lot of goodies. I hope you guys are ready to um, join in the fun. So if you are new to this channel, thanks so much for watching. This is going to be a really large Dollar Tree haul. So if you want to get something to drink, I would suggest you go ahead and do that now. Um, let's just get started with this video. I found some new stickers, or at least they're new to me. I'll try to show them together. Um, this Mickey sticker set, Disney Junior set, looks new to me. Um, I haven't seen it. It looks very, like, retro and bright at the same time. So, I don't know. I picked this up. I do like these packs because you get so many stickers. You get four sheets, so they're good to share. And then I also saw this one, and I don't think I got this one neither. And there goes Forky. Forky is my favorite. So I did pick up those two stickers. Um, I don't know. You guys let me know if you've seen these, but they look new to me. I did get this new phone case. I actually tripped up the stairs, running up the stairs, trying to get to Jalissa, and I cracked my screen. Luckily, I don't think it was my actual phone. It was just a screen guard. So I'm going to put a new one on. Put that in the bag to take upstairs. Okay. I did buy another pack of pencil that I did not need. I couldn't remember last year if they had doggy pencils. Now, I have, like, the doggy pouches. I have the doggy uh, uh, pouches, folders. Something I have a lot of stuff with this doggy print for um, some traveler's notebooks. And when I seen that, I was like, I cannot let it go. Because, you know, if you go back, sometimes they're not there. They also have the planets. And to me, this is like a world teacher travel adventure kind of pencil. So I thought it was cute enough to still get. Even though, guys, I'm going to show you how bad it is. Like, I have like three drawers of pencils. So do I need pencils? And these are all to use to give away. I mean, I can use them, but I got these, you know, to do projects with, to include in projects. So I don't really need pencils, but these are just too cute. I couldn't pass them up. So there you go. Um, I saw these beads and they were glow in the dark beads. And I thought these would be really good for Halloween. I don't know how much Halloween crafting I'm going to get done, but they're glow in the dark beads you get a hundred in the pack and um at the dollar tree for a dollar so yeah i'm gonna give it a try so i did pick those up i finally found this um this star pen and i got a cloud and i got i'm trying to find them hold on i got a cloud and i got something else from office depot let me show you i'm gonna pull them out because I, I knew I didn't have, okay, I didn't have that color, thank God. So I got this cloud from Office Depot, which Dollar Tree has it now for a dollar. So if you want that, get that from the Dollar Tree. And then I got this heart one from um, Office Depot as well. And then they have this green star. And it has a shaker with all the shakers. I was standing at Dollar Tree. Now this one is a little smaller than this one. So maybe that's why... One is $2 and one is $1. I don't know. Um, the ball, this clown one at the Dollar Tree might be smaller too. But they had this one with the blue. So they're different. The one from Office Depot is green. The one from Dollar Tree is blue. So now I have four. And they are so cute. Look at that. Um, I would take them to work, but they would get stolen so quickly. So nope, not doing that. So I got that. I found some new stickers, guys. They were food stickers. So I got this one. This is like a breakfast one. It has um, pancakes, um, waffles. I actually am a French toast girl. You guys tell me if you're a pancake, waffle, or French toast. Put that in the comment down below. I would love to know what kind of breakfast person you are. My niece, she loves oatmeal. But this is just a foodie one. I like this, all these fruits. That looks like a mango, a lemon, and a lime. So, yeah, and that's a pomegranate. I think that's a pomegranate. But anyway, whoever designed that, super cute. Um, I did pick up this veggie one. Um, this one has like veggies in it to me. This has like asparagus. And I don't really eat like this. This makes me want to try to eat like this. Um, 
I just, I blame my food problem on my mom. I just feel like I've never ate these foods as a child. And so my body rejects them. Like, I don't like them. Like, I just, I feel like gagging. I cannot eat them. Now, there are things that I have grown to like over time that I tried and I just kept trying. And eventually, I think my taste buds changed. But other things are just like a no. So I can't eat a salad, obviously. But like olives, like they have olives on that salad. Like, no. Um, the sushi, sushi, no. Not eating no raw food. So I've been trying to try avocado because people eat like avocado toast and avocado on their tacos and just put you know black pepper on it but I for some reason I don't like the texture of avocado and I really don't like the flavor like it's a little bit flavorless it kind of reminds me of baby food the texture so I am working on trying to live a healthier life especially getting my mind and so correct so those were the two foodie ones and then the other one I got was this one it's a unicorn one it says oh happy day and I have mentioned in a few videos that I supposed to be moving over to unicorn but lordy that is taking a lifetime so I'm just gonna throw this stuff over with the unicorn stuff I only got one pack so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it but yeah I did get that Okay, the next items I got was this unicorn squishy. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it for myself because I need to reduce some stress, which I don't know. I just don't see. Does this really help when you're angry? I'm angry right now, squeezing it. Or is it more like a, I don't know. I want to punch something. I feel like I need to do boxing or something, you know, that, that could release my stress. But anyway, I got this. It's super cute. They had two colors. I looked right here. This one was blue here. And another one was green with other colors everywhere else. Um, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know really what I'm going to do with it. So that is that squishy. Um, I did find two candies that are new to my Dollar Tree. I haven't seen them. This is Johnny Apple Treats. I don't know if they taste like um, like lemon heads. We will have to see. But those are new. And then I also got this Gummy Fun Mix Soda Pop. Um, they have multiple flavors in there. So lemon lime, cherry coke, grape, strawberry, orange bottles, Coca-Cola bottles. So lemon lime and cherry coke are the only two multiple flavors that I see. The other ones are solid. I don't really know. But I wanted to try something new with you guys. So, yeah, there you have it. Um, if I can remember, I'll let you know if I like these or talk about them. But how about... I, I, I just don't know. Okay, so I got that. Okay. I did get one um, wall art. And these dinosaurs just look so realistic. I was like, I have to get it. So, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. I mean, I have no idea. Like use it when we go to the zoo if I'm doing a boys project I mean I have no idea but the look at the images the clearness the detail so I had to get this and I have no idea what I'm going to do with it so yeah I mean just boy stuff don't come around too often so I have that um let's see what else I got this to put in my toy collection for gifts um I watch a lot of YouTube as well and I've seen other people haul this with kids and they say that this is a really good gift and kids love it so you guys know I got more nieces and nephews than I can count so I'm picking that up for them um crafty girl used to be called cheap crafty girl crafty girl she hauled this and she said she likes to use this in the toilet and I was thinking it will be good in the bathtub I have to get like down on my knees um, to clean the bathtub and she said you can also put solution in here or whatever kind of cleaner by opening in it so I thought it would be good for the bathtub so I am going to put this in my bathroom and that's what I plan on using it for if you wanted to color coat it like you will get two they have like pink red and blue I think so you can get pink for the bathtub and maybe a blue for the toilet so you know the difference and you can use one for the toilet or not I mean I just use the the what do you call that the toilet brush for the toilet and then I thought this would be good for the bathtub so I only got one but I did think that that would be better than me on my hands and knees I'll get and it's 
you know, has the spongy, grippy, what do you call that, scrub pad there. So I thought it would get off some of the dirt. So that's why I got that. Okay, uh, moving along. What else did I get? I got, for the first time ever, I started using Command Hooks. I really, really like them. These are back at the Dollar Tree. And let me tell you, I didn't realize how expensive command hooks are. At Walmart, they were wanting like 7 to $10 for command, command hooks. I'm like, uh, no. So, and then all Dollar Trees do not Guys, have... I had got a call for my sister-in-law, so um, I had to take that. But I'm back. Okay, I got a few more items from the Dollar Tree. I don't know where I left off, so hopefully I picked back up. I was talking about these command hooks. They're very expensive at other stores. So when I saw that this T DT had them, I picked up four of those for my stash, especially with me decorating. They're great for wreaths. I picked this up. This is my favorite candy. Absolutely love this candy. Um, the next item I picked up were some movies. Um, I got this American Vietnam War. Um, it's the 50th um, anniversary collection. It has six DVDs in it. And I thought it'd be good to give to my husband for like a Christmas gift or something. So I picked that up. And then I picked up this. Isabel Dances into the Spotlight. I thought that was a nice movie maybe to watch with my niece. And then I picked these up as gifts. They had Monster High um fright camera action and then they also had this one includes digital plays on multiple devices so i picked this one up as well despicable me monsters high uh yeah and then uh the last one i got is merry freaking christmas so those are going upstairs in my collection, and then these are going in the gift pal. And then the last few things I got was, um, I had picked up one of these brushes before, and then I realized that they're different. So this is a powder brush, a, preci a precision brush, and a concealer brush. I like this for eyeshadow, but I picked up the rest of this set. And I'm going to be using these upstairs in my bathroom for me. Um, and then I did pick up this um, set right here of containers. These containers I got from Target. I'm actually going to go back and see if they have two more. They fit really well in here to store stuff. So if I had two more, they will fit really well. So I think that this is going to be a good storage idea. They're the perfect width for this basket. So I like how that is. I'm going to put two more here. I don't know. I might even change some other things around. But I like how this looks. Um, I mean, again, it would be nice if this was clear. But, you know, beggars can't be choosy. So that's going to be it. Oh, nope. I got one more thing. The best item of the day. I found new playing cards. I have to show you guys these cards. They have... Um, I'm going to zoom in. They have like all of the Las Vegas famous things, I guess. So this one's Bally's Las Vegas. It's so good. Um, they have Green Valley Ranch Las Vegas. Um, I think that's where Lamar was, maybe. Who knows? Um, and then they have this one, which is South Point. So they have South Point, Tropicana Las Vegas. Here he is, uh, Lake Tahoe Casino, Rio, Las Vegas. They had so many. Biani's Las Vegas. My sister-in-law said that that's a restaurant. I've never been there, so I might give her that one. I don't know. I was going to Google it to see about their food. Casino Royal and Hotel Las Vegas Strip. Now, you guys know, well, you might not know, I own a timeshare. I actually own property in Westgate, Florida, in Orlando. And when I saw Westgate, Las Vegas, I was like, I have to get that one. Um, so I did get this one. I really want to stay there. I want to stay there once um, in Las Vegas. If you guys have been to the Westgate, Las Vegas, let me know if you like it. And then they had two more uh, casino or Las Vegas ones. They had the Golden Nugget. And then they had Caesar's Palace. Everyone knows Caesar Palace. It's so pretty. Um, I want to say there once too. 
Um, and then they had one NBA playing cards. Can you guys let me know if they have more? This is the Raptures NBA. So I did get that as well. 4, 8, 12. So I got 12 new uh, card sets. So I am set on cards for a while. I think I'm going to start collecting cards. But I'm only going to keep one card out of each game that I got. And the other ones I'm going to use for like swapping and stuff like that. Um, the current ones that I'm using are just the regular ones from Dollar Tree. But like I have these unicorn ones. So I think that I, you know, would use all of the other ones in games and stuff. And then I'll just start collecting one of each card. So like this one. See, like this one's so cute, right? That came from the Dollar Tree last, last year. So and yeah that is what i think i'm gonna do but i am all set on cards you guys let me know if you find any of the new cards and if you guys collect them or you just use them in crafting or you just play cards with them and my family plays cards too we play spades we play i declare war so old maid things like that so i'm so happy that i found these cards i was really looking for them so that is it for this video guys please let me know what was your favorite item and i I will see you in the next video. Guys, bye.